Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Fuzz1304, on how we can render out an ambient occlusion map. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have a scene from the texturing game props in 3ds Max and Photoshop course. And if you notice, uh, we're going to uh, focus on getting the ambient occlusion map for this bearer here. Now you notice uh, I actually have this all as one object, so that way we can bake out, uh, save out um, one occlusion map rather than individual maps for each piece. So depending on what you what you're doing with your project, um, you want to make sure that you uh, attach each of your objects together that you want to save off into your occlusion map. Okay, so now that I ha uh, have all those uh, attached into one piece what we can do is come to rendering and go to render to texture okay so in here um, I have my barrel selected now if you don't have it selected you can just simply select it notice it uh, will show up here and uh, first things first I always like to check the general settings to make sure that my output path is in my project um, because this is where it's going to save our map too so that way if we ever need to uh, try to find it uh, this is where it's at. Okay, so uh, with that set, uh, let's come down and I want to make sure that I'm going to be using my existing channel since I do have uh, UVs laid out for this barrel. I'm going to use the UVs that I've already laid out here rather than uh, having 3ds Max go ahead and do an automatic unwrap on it. And with that set, let's go ahead and set up our output. So click Add. And uh, if you notice, I don't see my ambient occlusion map option. Okay, so let's cancel out of this. And in order to do that, we're actually going to have to enable Men Array. So let's hop up to our render setup and just uh, real quick choose a Men Array preset here so that it'll go ahead and um, use Men Array. Close out of that. And then if we click Add now, we'll see our ambient occlusion option. Okay, so we'll add that in. And with that added, I usually prefer to add it to my diffuse color for the target mat. And I also want to bump up the actual size, so either 1K or 2K map, whatever uh, your project requires. Okay, looks like everything's set up, so we can go ahead and click Render. And that'll go ahead and render this out. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this renders, and we'll come back uh, when it's done. Alrighty, so uh, my render's completed, as we can see here. If I close out of my render as well as the render to texture, we can see that it's gone ahead and applied the occlusion map to the diffuse for my object here. Okay, and if I were to uh, open up my 3ds Max project, let's go into scene assets and images where we told it to save out. And here is the occlusion, so I can just uh, take a look at what the map looks like. This will be our ambient occlusion map. Okay, so let's a look at how we can save off an ambient occlusion map using the render to texture. If you want to learn some more great texturing techniques, check out the texturing game props in 3ds Max and Photoshop course. 